Here at Geekanoids, I produce all of my videos in 4K resolution. And throughout the latter part of 2015 and into 2016, we're going to see more and more 4K video footage available to enjoy. And to edit this, I need something that I can rely upon, a good quality monitor. And I was given the opportunity to review the ViewSonic VP2780 4K. Now this particular monitor boasts a 27 inch display with a resolution of 3840 by 2160. It's presented in black on a really sturdy stand and this not only allows height adjustment but it also allows me to rotate the monitor. Now you'll notice as I'm rotating it we're getting very good viewing angles even though I've got bright studio lights on and that's thanks to it being an IPS panel which stands for in-plane switching. And that not only gives us the great viewing angles, but gives us exceptional colour performance as well. I really don't understand why all manufacturers don't offer up this amount of adjustability. We've also got adjustable tilt, which means we can get a really ergonomic viewing position. Round the back we've got a host of ports, and we've got an input here for the power supply, a headphone output, we've also got mini display port, display port, and a total of three HDMI ports. One of these HDMI display ports is version 2.0, offering up 3840 by 2160 resolution at a 60 hertz frame rate. And to top things off, we've got a built-in USB 3 hub with two USB 3 ports on the side and that additional USB 3 port on the back. Now I'd like to show you the amount of adjustability we've got again. This base is really good. We've got 120 degrees of swivel, 28 degrees of tilt, and it also pivots as well. If you don't want to keep it on the stand, then you can actually visa mount it either to the wall or to a multi-monitor arm if you're using more than one display. Let's move on to how the display actually looks. And when you're considering purchasing a new monitor, colour accuracy is very important indeed. And the colours are really fantastic on the VP2780. We've got 10-bit colour with 14-bit processing. 100% of sRGB, 80% of Adobe RGB, and 99% of EBU, 75% NTSC colour accuracy. So very, very good indeed. And I was surprised at how much detail was actually delivered. When you zoom in on photos that you've taken and take a closer look at the video footage you've captured, it really is simply stunning. Along the bottom right hand edge of the monitor we've got some touch sensitive controls and we've also got a little LED light right on the corner of the monitor. Now the menus are well laid out. The touch sensitive controls are probably the only thing on this monitor that I feel could be improved. Sometimes they didn't register your touch. For the most part they were okay, it's not a deal breaker. Just a little bit more attention could be paid in this area. But you'll see here that throughout the menu options We've got so much control over how our image is going to look. We've got numerous colour adjustments, including, of course, contrast and brightness. We've also got this manual image adjustment as well, which allows you to go in further into the settings and further refine how the display is going to work for you. The main setup menu is where you're going to want to switch on DisplayPort 1.2 so that you get that 60 hertz refresh rate through the DisplayPort connection on the back of the monitor. I primarily tested the VP2780 4K on Mac OS X connected to both a Retina MacBook Pro and also a late 2013 Mac Pro. Running it at scaled resolutions was absolutely fine with all of the menu items very readable. At native resolution it was a little bit tricky. Overall the quality of the ViewSonic VP2780 4K is absolutely fantastic. The IPS panel gives us superb colour accuracy and viewing angles and that 4K resolution is absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in another video very soon.